F9. We will say like Mark, Mark. <clears throat> Hello and welcome everybody and welcome to the long-awaited League of Legends. Yes, for a while now uh, a couple of people have been telling me to play League of Legends. They're like, oh my god, it's so cool, play it. I was like, yeah, I'll play it eventually and I just never got around to it, you know, other stuff going on. And then I one day I loaded up, I was like, oh, I'll have a few games and then I'll record and then I got instantly hooked. I was like, oh my god, this is the best game ever. A lot of my friends also play it, so I play with them a lot. And um it's kind of taken over my free time. I haven't recorded a lot lately. There's been probably three or so weeks since I've been uploading regularly. Uh that is a combination of things, a bit more schoolwork. I had uh drama going on at school which took up a lot of my spare time the closer we got to the actual performance. That's done and dusted now. Um so I should hopefully get more back to a more regular uploading schedule. Um yeah, so this is just gameplay more than anything. This isn't anything specific. Uh I'm playing Ergot top lane, not because I want to, I'd rather play Ergot bot with the support. Uh, as an as a an anti carry ADC, but I'm I'm playing him top because our bot lane decided not to have an ADC, and I was like, well, I got can go top, I got top, why not? I'll do it. Uh, but it looks like I'm one v two top, which isn't ideal. Uh, I got one v one top's good because he's got range poke, so he can harass the shit out of whoever's top with him. But it looks like I'm going to have a Garen and a Mumu top, so I, I may get dominated a little bit here. I'm going to try and sit turret so that a Mumu can't bandage toss me uh, without tanking turret like an idiot. Maybe I can use my ult to some nice fresh advantage, and I'm going to have to tab out instantly. Uh, okay. F9. Hello again. Uh, unfortunately, I had to tab out instantly because my screen did this little glitch thing where it glitches and it's like, oh, I'm not going to do nothing. Um... So what we are going to do is we're going to go with Sapphire Crystal and two health pots. Why, I'd ask. Um, basically, when you are playing Urgot, your mana pool is a problem. Because you don't want to be doing damage with your auto attacks. You want to be doing damage with your acid halter. You want to spam. Spam? You want to spam that son of a bitch activated. until you can spam it no more. Um, so your base mana pool being very low, it's like 200 I think, like 285, um, it is very very low. So it means you cannot really spam your Acid Hunter or your Nox and Corrosive Charge. Uh, so you're basically going to struggle to do early damage. Urgot is odd, he's an ADC that wants to do damage with spells rather than auto attacks. So um, you don't build like a normal ADC, everyone will be like, Oh, he's in the bush? No, okay. Everyone will be like, Oh, why aren't you building your Phantom Dancer and stuff? Because he, I'm not a traditional uh, ADC. Uh, if I was, yeah, I'd be like building a Phantom Dancer, you know, maybe a Static Shiv, an Infinity's Edge, but that's not what I'm about. Uh, basically, with this build, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've started Sapphire Crystal, so I'm going to rush Tear the Goddess, then a Brutalizer, uh, then we'll see where we go from there. I'll probably get a Mana Moon, eh? Mana Moon, Mana Moon, eh? Wherever you want. Sorry, I burped there. That was awful. Oh, my OMG. Did someone steal some creep score or something? This, uh, this Lee Sin's getting all stressy because he was like, I want Leash on Wolves' blocks, but nobody steal Wolves because then I want to get, like, gold and stuff, lol. He was getting really upset, I think. Well, I don't. I only seem to have, for the moment, a Moo Poo. Hey, hey! No one's ever made that joke before. I only seem to have a Moo Moo uh, top, which is. Oh! Look at him, he's angry! Let's corrosively charge that mother. mother fluffer. Yeah, how'd you like that? How'd you like that dot? Hey, Garen, go away. Ugh! Poke. Um. So yeah, anyway, as to my skill level, I've been playing for like a month-ish now, probably. There wasn't a direct, it wasn't directly correlating, so... Well, that's dumb of a Moo Moo. That's exactly what I said I was going to sit turret for. There wasn't a direct correlation between me taking up LOL and the downturn in output from my channel. Don't worry, it wasn't like I was like, Okay, gonna quit YouTube now, LOL, so much fun. Um, 
it was just uh, right now I can just pew, from a nice healthy range just pew, do some nice damage to Garen now this is gonna be my advantage hopefully uh, it's gonna come from the fact I can just sit back quite a nice distance and poke the only thing is my turrets gonna get pushed quite hard which isn't gonna be all that great and god damn it turret is gonna take some of my bump oh damn it almost got that one as well but hopefully if I kite well uh, stay you know not too close to the crowd I think I'm gonna try and poke a Moomoo a bit more because he seems squishier missile lock ah damn it missed that one uh, yeah I've only played Urgot twice I've only played him two games so I'm not an Urgot professional uh, I'm not all that great at him so don't don't be surprised when I miss a few acid hunters etc etc I'm I am I am no professional I I no professional Urgot I only Urgot at weekends I've been I know I dabble with Urgot I'm gonna get my turret capacitor um, so basically, if anybody's not played Urgot before, wants to know what he's all about, he is, uh, as I said before, spellcasting ADC. What you do is you cast your E, your Noxian Corrosive Charge, that puts a nice dot on them, but it also allows your Acid Hunter, which is your Q, your main attack, to Missile Lock, which means wherever they go, it will home them. Uh, because normally Acid Hunter is a bit of a crap straight line thing. Watch, I'll, I'll do one for you. Pew! It's just like that, a crap straight line attack. Um, which can be kited by minions, which makes it f fucking poo poo. But, but when you add in the Noxian Corrosive Charge, yes, it becomes a master. Uh, and it can like home and stuff. So, bam. There we go. Missile lock. Missile lock. And another one. Missile lock. Damn. I had my cursor over someone else when I cast it. Uh, basically, the only trouble with it is it is a bit of a pain in the ass to make sure you have your cursor over the guy you want to cast it on. It can be a bit like, oh shit, didn't I had it over a minion the precise moment when I clicked, uh, you know, cast. So, I'm just going to do some... Uh, because these guys are going to be sharing XP, I'm hoping that will work in my favour and I should be able to out-level them quite severely. Um, even without me getting all of my last hits, which I'm not at the moment. Fucking hell, I'm normally a pretty decent last hitter. Uh, you know, playing bot lane, I'm normally pretty good at last hitting. I'd say that's something I've actually gotten the hang of quite well now. The laning phase, I'd say, is what I'm better at in this game. Um, I lane pretty well, last hitting and whatnot, but I'm absolutely sucking with Urgot at the moment. Uh, I haven't played him a lot, though, so I'm going to put it down to that. Once I go back and get my... Uh, my tier... And then my Brutalizer after, I should be okay. The problem with Urgot is his, sort of, his combo of an E and then a bunch of Qs... Uh, it's kind of best suited to squishy. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie me. This is an attempt at a gang. This is an attempt at a gang. And you! Oh, come on. Let's get that. Let's get it. Screw it. I'll take the hit. I'll take the kill. I'll take the kill. I'll take the kill. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Yes! King Dems is good at the game, yes? Oh, listen, you are an awful ganker. Go on, listen. Gank him. Gank him, listen. You can do it, man. Oh, come on! More ballsy, Lee Sin. I died for that. Not directly. It was an accident. I didn't mean to die. But, oh, man. Well, I have to buy wards, so fuck it. Uh, I'm going to get another health pot, two things. So I should start pumping out more damage now. I'm going to head straight for my Brutalizer. Now I've got my tier. I can just go for my Brutalizer like a madman. Hmm. Taking a drink. And I should be okay, because I don't need to buy wards, because I ain't gonna get ganked, they ain't got no jungler. I'm level 6, which is nice, I'm out leveling my lane nicely. Uh, their creep scores only 17 and 14, mine's 24, so both of them individually are getting, aren't getting as much feed as I am. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Oh no, listen, run! Oh, he's been killed, he's been killed. He's gun done died. Oh, he's already getting the noob shout out, let's get that last hit. Pew, free last hit. Right, let's try and get some push on this lane. I don't really want to... I, I basically, I'm just thinking of making sure my uh, laning peeps can't just roam. Um, being 2v1 top is not that much of a problem. You'll out-level who you're laning against, which is always a good thing. But the one thing you will struggle with is... Um, 
you're going to struggle with your lane going out and roaming. You can't really lock down your laning opponents to their lane uh, just because of the, the fact of 2v1. They can leave one guy in lane to hold you off whilst the other guy goes and ganks mid and whatnot. So, um, it's always a good idea to try and keep your lane pushed if you see one of them going off for a roam. Um, just to help you. Uh, let's try and get some... Let's try and get some hits off. And that was a perfect. That was a three combo. And look at his health now. That was a good triple acid hunter combo, which is the combo you're looking for, if boss. Right, let's prevent his heal. Deary me, deary me, I've been stunned. I'm gonna struggle on this one. Oh, I should get out of it. Alright, let's get him turreted. And come on, kill him. Yes! And we got the kill anyway. Oh, that ult. That ult, if you use it well, will get you so many kills you would otherwise not get. As you can see there, you can swap him, give yourself some resistances to last. I'm going to ping my turret and hopefully they'll come up. There sh could be a gank on a Moomoo if they get top quickly. Now, it looks like a Moomoo saw what was happening and got out of there. But yeah, as you can see, um, if you get that comb if you get that ult right, you will pick up so many kills that you would never normally pick up. So I'm going to pick up boots. I could get uh, another longsword on the way to my Mana Moon, eh? But I don't feel like I need that much more damage output at the moment. Uh um, I mean, damage is always good, but what you're going to see me do with the boots is build them into uh, boots of lucidity, so I get the cooldown reduction. Now, people might be like, what? Why? Why cooldown reduction? Why don't you want some, like, I don't know, some, some Berserk Screeves or something? Because no boot, the only boots that really synergize at all with Urgot are his uh, are boots of cooldown reduction. Because it means you can land more acid hunters in one Nox and Corrosive Charge. And it means you can just land Nox and Corrosive Charge far more often. Oh, dearie me, I was tanking a turret hit there like a fool. Thank you, Lee Sin, for that shield. That was uh, uh, mighty helpful of you. Um, now, our team is doing okay. Mid Brand is getting a little bit fed. He's got he's on two kills, which is never good. A fed Brand is a bad idea. His AoE damage makes him an absolute bitch to team fight against. And you see me doing mad damage to their uh, what's he called? Their um. Oh dear, I've been snared. That's not good. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I switched the wrong one. Now, as you can see, poor use of it will also get you, will also not get you kills. Although I should get the Garen kill, and there he goes. Bloody hell! Bad use of my ult there. I got the kill, but I should have probably got a Mumu and survived. So, whilst it wasn't a disaster, it didn't go fantastically well. Right now, I can get the boots of lucidity and head back to lane. Still not used like any of my pots, which is a pain in the ass. Amumu's just headbutting that turret with surprising ferocity, and he's probably going to take it, which is a pain in the ass. Although, Cat should jump in and get the kill there. Go on, Cat. Go on, Cat. You can do that. Go on, Cat. You can get that. Go on, Cat. You can get that. Go on, Cat. You can do it. Go on, Cat. Just chase it. Please, Cat. Get that kill, Cat. Yes, and there it is. Good job, Cat. So uh, she went and got the kill, which was nice. Obviously, keeping turret would have been fabulous, but I mean, it's not a disaster. Uh, if she wouldn't take my farm, I'd massively appreciate it. Cat, you got the kill. Doesn't mean you have to go steal my farm, you little beehatch. Right, I think shutting down Brand in mid is probably a good idea, so I think I'm going to waddle over there, see if I can get there in time to help. And Garen's here. Hi, Garen. Hi, Garen. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, I'm very, very squishy. That's my problem. So, I am going to have to, unfortunately, sit turret. As you can see, I missed my Acid Hunter. The biggest problem is missing your Nox and Corrosive Charge. It is a massive pain in the dick hole if you miss that. So, try not to. And as you can see there, I hit it. And now I'll get like a triple combo on with my... I managed to get four in there. That is why we get cooldown reduction boots. Uh, because, ah, see, this is another reason why, uh, okay, right, okay, okay, stop, slow down, slow down. You're getting all excited over Urgot, you need to explain everything one thing at a time. 
So what I was getting excited about first was Ionian Cooley Reduction Boots. The reason they are so insane is because as you can see you can fit more Acid Hunters in which means more damage. Second thing I was getting excited about was Garen's built Ninja Tabai. Ninja Tabai does not help Garen with me one bit because I do not do my damage. I don't do any of my damage with auto attacks. I do it all with spells. Why? Why steal top? Guys, why? Uh, I guess pushing the turret probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, we're going to push the turret top here. I was getting upset because I thought they were coming to steal my farm. I don't... Well... I don't think they are. I think the suggestion is we're going to push turret, which would be a good plan. Um, yeah, Ninja Tabai. Yes, okay, Garen gets the armor. Good job, Garen. Well done, you've got armor, but you could have bought that for more useful things. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, dear, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> hey, Amumu, nice old dude. Hey, Amumu, why are you so good at that old? Right, let's get out of there, let's get out of there. I got increased resistances, which is nice. Ah, MF's here, that's a bad, bad, bad idea. I know Lee Sin's pissed off because we didn't manage to get Garen, which is obviously upsetting, but meh. Not a lot we could have done there. Um, I mean, I guess we could have tried to kill him, but eh. Um, this Lee Sin's raging, I CBA to reply to rages. Um, okay, let's have a look how we're doing on... Gold. We need 1400 from Man and Moon, which is our next item. I mean, we can go back and get the longsword if we need to recall, but we don't need to recall at the moment. So we'll stay out and we will get some more farm. Uh, okay, he's saying focus low HP. Let me tell you why that's wrong. Because if he gets to a point where he's probably not killable, i.e. he's run too far away, you shouldn't just have tunnel vision and keep going for the guy with low HP. You should always, always, always be ready and aware to switch targets. What Lee Sin just said was a very, very bad thing, and it will lose you lots of kills that you could have had if you just switched focus and get you killed lots of times because you've, you've chased a lost cause into turret range and stuff like that. Oh, fucking hell, Garen's going to cause me some issues. He's relatively fed. Fucking spin to win Garen. It is a piece of shit, and I hate Garen so much. I have him, but I don't play him. Why? Because he's a piece of shit. Look, Ninja Tabai and Frozen Mallet, he's built like two fucking things, and he's already a pain in the dickhole. Grr, we don't like Garen, folks. We are not big fans of... Ah! Ah! Lee, help! Lee, what are you doing? Lee, oh my god, Lee fucking, Lee sucks. The amount of times he's missed his, like, necessary thing for kills and whatnot. Can you slow him? Can you slow him? Can you slow him? Oh, why'd I do that? I did not mean to do that. That was bad, 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 bad karma. Bad karma. Bad karma. Bad, bad karma. I, bad, awful karma. Damn it. That was bad. Bad time. Yes, all right, Nidalee. Stop pooing yourself. My team are basically all raging at each other. Uh, they're just like, Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Ah, oh, you're so newbie. Ah, oh, you're so lame. Oh, oh, my God. Bot has been destroyed. What the fuck was that bot? Whoa. There's some rage. Report this Nidalee and this Lee Sin. Never help bot and Nidalee cry this baby. That makes no physical sense. That makes no sense. Oh, go on, Brand. Yeah, Brand's dead. Uh, Maud's farm is fucking awful considering he's Maud and Maud has the number one farm. Let's go, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! I feel like I should follow my team, so I'm going to do that. I have my Terra. Wait, what's it called? Uh, hyperkinetic position reverser, but, you know. Yes, 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 I left top. My bad, I shouldn't have done that. That was silly. Alright, my bad. I'm gonna call that. That was actually my bad. I shouldn't have left top. I went to help bot and then Garen did a sneaky split push on top. Uh, which was my bad shout. I should have probably been there. Uh, Cat is cleaning up minions, not going for the kill on Garen. So, yeah. Okay, I think Lee and Nidalee are going to be okay pushing. Okay, no, that's how it is pushed. My bad. Gift 
eternal pain. Oh god, where's Garen gone? There he is. Garen is fast! Damn, I hate Garen. He is probably one of my least favourite characters in this game. Oh, that's my kill. Let's get this turret. Nope, okay, she can't tank it. It's fine. Uh, but that was a good kill. That was a good example of why I got so good. That range. That range is mad. Um, that was good of Cat to dive it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know if we would have got the kill. I mean, I could have done some damage um, just using my, my, my combo because I can actually stay miles out of turret range. I might have to just nip into turret range to cast my E, but once I've done... Like, casting my E, I can back off, take maybe one turret hit, and just batter him from afar. Now, I'm gonna use my dot and everything here, because I need to, um... I need to clear this wave quick, so I can push turret. Okay, I probably don't need to... Oh, fuck it. Nope, okay, just checking. Didn't know if my Q did damage to turrets or not. It does not, I'll, I'll tell you now. Right, that split push should keep Garen busy. And Jesus Christ, there's there's just people dying all over the shop. If I can get to mid, I might be able to clear up some of the kills. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, where is MF? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Let's try swap position with one of them. I'll take the kill. You know what? I'll take the kill. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm five for one for four for one. I'm I'm technically the best score on my team. Don't know about Damage. We'll see at the end. Damage is damage for all those uh, not well versed in the made up sayings of my of of yonder. Right. I'm gonna now build my black cleaver. Why? Because mm, I want to. It's the next item I wish to build. Why focus Garen? Why focus the tank? Don't focus Garen, please. He is the tank. Okay, sorry, I have to say that this team is playing not great, in all honesty. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to call noob and stuff, because that's not fair on people. I don't believe in doing that. It's not helpful and just irritating when people do that. But, oh my god. Was that an attempt at a juke? Because if she'd have kept running, she probably would have got away. Um, like, bot lane, as you can see, has just been stomped all over. I don't know why. It's not as if the other team had a good lane. They had a Sonor and a Misfortune. That's not, like, the strongest lane you can have. It really isn't. Yeah, can someone, like, stun him? Feck, no one has any CC. Well, I have a slow, but... It's not really very good CC. Where is Amumu going? Yes, get him. Yes, I know. My Acid Hunters will now slow. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, feck. Uh, well, this is interesting. Um. I'm not going to get that kill. That's irritating. I did exactly what I said not to do, which was to focus Garen, which was the worst shout of all time, possibly. Um, I'm not doing well, basically. I'm not having a good game. Well, we can probably push this turret if we're quick. Because uh, I can, like... Ah, dear, 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 Ah, uh, I'm probably gonna die, probably gonna die. I'm gonna survive. No, no, escape. Run, no, oh God, run, you fat little bastard. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna agree to the surrender. Um, and so that was the first ever game of League of Legends I've ever shown on my YouTube. It was not a great game, but you know, it'll do. Thank you for watching, guys. Love you, leave you, and see you another time. Uh, fun, 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 fun.